Hey legends and welcome back to the least knowledgeable sim racing channel where we're continuing our feature of awesome free laser scan tracks for R Factor 2. For those who haven't, I'd strongly recommend watching part 1 of this video series first where I define the two main categories of laser scanning and how these tracks are categorized. Because we've said all we need to say in the first video, I won't waste any time with this intro. Just be sure to ring the bell to get notified of future entries in the series, as we'll still have another 10 or so tracks to cover after this video. Lastly, you can find links to the tracks themselves down below, as well as affiliate links to help support the channel. Let's get into it. First on the list is the legendary Spa Francochamp. <laughs> Nice exit out of the garage there to mark my return to what is the very first track I ever drove in R-Factor outside of the original Nordschleife rip. Legend has it that this track and its mesh has been borrowed from a somewhat popular Italian sim racing game. With that set aside, it's one of the very first quote unquote rips that we ever had in R-Factor 2 and was one of the two first tracks I originally played for this game. So I basically alternated between this and the Nürburgring Nordschleife because it's the only laser scan tracks that the game actually had available and ironically both were unofficial content at the time. So until we got Sebring, this was about as good as it got. This track being a very early rip is working on a relatively old version of R-Factor the road surface isn't particularly enthralling, as you can see by that rubbered in line there. I don't know what was going on with that secondary line. I guess it's meant to be like pebbles or something. But uh, yeah, it's not exactly the, the very best quality content that you're going to find in R-Factor. That being said, it's still Spa and it's, it's still R-Factor. So compared to driving this on the original Assetto Corsa, this is a whole different experience. The amount of mechanical grip that you can feel, the, the feedback from the game, it's absolutely enthralling and as you probably noticed there, the track limits are exceptionally kind, probably too much so. It's very interesting coming back to this track on this game, I always found it so much easier to race here than I did on the AC or ACC engine. In some interesting ways, I find R-Factor both more and less difficult to race in than ACC, but on Spa in particular, I find it far easier in R-Factor too. Now, this is a very forgiving model. I don't think the curbing is particularly detailed. The runoff you can just use without being, without exceeding the track limits. So it's very, very kind when you're racing the AI here. This, of course, being an outlap, we're just warming the car up as we make our way back to the start line for our actual lap. But Spa has always been, as much as I enjoy it as a track, has been always one of my personal weaker performers. I'm not very fast, nor am I very good at it. There's something about the uh, FIA approved, very wide, huge runoff tracks that just doesn't gel with the inner rally driver in me. So we're coming across the start line for our very first proper lap, and we're actually catching one of the AI on their qualifying run as well. Breaking hard at the, I think, 100 board? Trying to clip the inside of that curb without going too much on the inside. You don't want to bounce out of there to send you wide. It's um, much more of a problem in ACC than it is here in R-Factor. will certainly be interesting to get a uh, high quality official version of this track. It seems to be what the rumor mill is cooking up and uh, no small coincidence that I decided to feature this track in this installment right now. The rumor would have it this is the track that's coming out in R-Factor 2. Mind you, this is <laughs> not officially confirmed. It's what people seem to be suggesting is the iconic European track. Breaking quite late, I can be a lot more aggressive here in R-Factor 2 than I can in ACC. I always seem to get away with so much more, there's just so much more grip going on. The car not vague at all on the limit, always extremely communicative and obviously I've cranked up the time acceleration so the rubbered in line is exceptionally rubbered in right now. <laughs> This guy ahead, I don't know what kind of a pitiful attempt at a lap he's doing, but uh, we're catching him very quickly. I'm going to try and use the slipstream. Running down to here. And try and get the... Oh, no. Uh, it's not the experience you want in your qualifying run, is it? So you've got to wonder, is he moving aside there or is he covering the inside line? It's either a fantastic outcome or a really horrible outcome, and I'm not really sure which. So that's definitely cost us the qualifying run, but still, 
you get a good feel for the track. So <laughs> for those of you who haven't bought into much of the official content, back when I was a R Factor 2 newbie and I was just running the vanilla game, I pretty much just divided up all my time between the Nordschleife rip of the 2016 and this. And between those two, I still had more than enough to keep me enthralled for months and months of play. So maybe there are those of you who are far less easily amused than I am, but, you know, to me, this still represents a really, really valuable addition to your arsenal uh, in terms of R-Factor 2 tracks. So I hope you guys enjoyed that very pitiful 217.9 run of Spark Funk Sharp. Make sure to grab a copy of the track down below and enjoy it in your own time. Alright, so I had to sneak this one in. This actually snuck up on me. It only came out very recently. The talk of the town, Lil Ski's Road America port from his Assetto Corsa version of the track. <laughs> Other than that very poor start on my behalf, uh, what I have to say is that this is apparently an aerial-based LiDAR scan with telemetry used to recreate the bump data. So it's not as accurate as a ground laser scan, but as far as third-party modded tracks go, it's about as good as it's going to get. Shy of paid content, that is. So Road America is one that I got familiarized with fairly recently. I was watching it at uh, IMSA the other month. And, you know, I've got to say, just like most American tracks, it immediately impressed me. There's this just really great pace to it it's not too wide and it always kind of assumes that you're going to have two wheels out on the grass and that's my favorite kind of racing you know the off-road variety so even when i'm on the track i like to pretend it's a rally catching up to these guys this was actually for my very first session on this track i actually learnt the layout with this particular version on r factor 2 and i couldn't have asked for a better way to learn this track because it's so much fun, so enthralling. You can see that my lines aren't exactly phenomenal, but I'm doing my best. The AI is very fun to race through here. They've done a decent job on the AIW. You can just get in and race. Very fun. You can be very aggressive there too. He's done a great job rendering the bump detail. Whether or not it's accurate, I don't know, but the track feels very enthralling. It feels closer to a round laser scan track than just one of the flat LiDAR scans. So massive props to Lilski. This is a very, very fun one and one of the most recent additions to R Factor 2's unofficial arsenal. And on the last corner, wrapping it around on the final straight. And that is a highly mediocre lap of Road America. But I hope you guys enjoy it and enjoy the track. Make sure to pick it up down below. So technically, this should have been the very first track I featured. Alton Park is one of my holy trinity, along with Brands Hatch and the Nordschleife. This is some of the most fun racing I have. This track you can actually grab from the Steam Workshop, unbelievably. It's absolutely amazing. It's one of my favorite tracks in all of R-Factor. You can see me. This is actually a, a takeoff from one of, my, one of my last races around here. I jacked up the AI. I basically slaughtered everyone until I got to... P1 up there and I just couldn't catch him no matter what. I basically burnt up my tires over the course of about six or seven laps trying to close the distance to this point and this is a very final lap. I think I knew in the back of my mind I probably didn't have the pace to catch him but I still gave it everything I had. So I don't have the inside scoop on this one. It feels like a ground-based laser scan to me. There's a lot of track detail on this. It's a lot more coarse than any of the official content. It's not up there with the quality level of, let's say, Sebring or the official Nordschleife. But my guess is that it's probably taken off the mesh of a certain Brazilian developer's game. Just guessing. Just guessing. Nothing official there. But it's probably the best quality track you can find on the Steam Workshop for R Factor 2, as far as I'm aware. But I am biased, I do love this track, as well as Brands Hatch. One thing I've got to say is I really familiarized myself with this track on Project Cars 2 and AMS 2, so when I started racing it on R-Factor, it took on a whole new level of significance, with R-Factor, of course, having a notably superior physics model than both of those games. It's just, it takes it to a whole new level, what you can do, pushing it to the edge. I'm very, very jealous of Mr. Baldwin for actually getting to do this in real life. <laughs> and winning no less on his inaugural race here. So 
So that's Alton Park. Hope you guys enjoyed that. New Jersey Motorsports Park. Chalk this up as one of the ones that I know next to nothing about. I just heard murmurings about it being a really good track on the Steam Workshop, so I grabbed it. This one feels very much like your typical aerial-based LiDAR scan. Very flat, lack of micro-track detail, but really good on the macro level. A lot of nice undulations, and it just has a really cool flow. And being one of the smaller size tracks on this list makes it a really great candidate to close out the video with. As you can see, it's very windy. There's a lot of mid-pace turning. There's a lot of sustained high G-force turns. Nothing crazy to really slow you down. No crazy chicanes, no crazy hairpins. Just a lot of really good mid-pace stuff. It's another one of those things that I tend to like about American tracks. They tend to really keep the pace up, keep the energy going, and this is no exception to that. I think we're already close to the end. It's such a short track, it's about a one minute lap time and yeah, that's us on the final straight already. So, New Jersey Motorsports Park, good way to close it out. Not my favourite track, but a really good one if you're in a lower tier of performance car. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed those tracks as much as I did featuring them. I'm still in disbelief at how much better you can make R-Factor 2 if you just set aside some time to dive around and pick out all the best content from the community. Again. Links for all these tracks are in the description below. Massive amounts of gratitude to the modders, coders and designers who put these together for us, often with next to no recognition. Smash that sub and ring the bell to catch our next installment where we'll cover yet another four tracks. With the impromptu release of Road America, our 18 free laser scan tracks are in fact 19 now, so it's possible this series will go even longer than originally planned. I'm certainly not complaining though, I absolutely love covering this and I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves too. Until next time.